to Nugent Hopkins. Canes that offensive line. Good place to shoot from, and he does. Good work along the boards. Gathered up again by Nugent Hopkins. Let's it go. Score! That's how a power play should work. Sometimes when you score first, you take the edge off your own team. That can't happen. You're up one. Go make it two. So he played a while in this period, and finally, a goal. I was hoping, Doc, that we were going to get that first one. Neutralized face-off win. And a long pass up the wing to Pilat. Let's it go. Great bluff save, and he keeps it. Over nine minutes to go in the first. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's 1-0. They won that draw. And at an angle to Pulak. Sliced down to Ehlers. Steps across that line. Points it. Shoots one. Wonderful stop. And the referee's whistle has stopped play. Long Beach's coaching staff is always prodding their players to be more aggressive, to finish checks, to separate body from puck. They don't have to tell him. He's always among the highest hit totals in the league. And they've got it again. And holds on to that buck to get the whistle. Nice face-off win. Strong wrister. That puck struck him in front. Brings it in for an attack. Got that pass in his own end. Moving it to Ehlers. And the pickup. Pitching this one to Kucherov. On through the corner. Kucherov's hooked on the play. There will be a penalty. Goalie to the bench. Substitution made. And now we get the stoppage of play in the penalty call. Long Beach's two-minute penalty is a minor, and the call is hooking. Uh, more times than not, Doc, any time you reach in around a player's hands that has the puck, you're going to get a hooking minor. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. They've been successful before, Doc, in the game here. Let's see if they can do it again. Move the puck, get the puck to the net. Muscled right off. Great job by the defenders to kill more time. Scooped up by Petrie. Snapping a pass to Backstrom. In with it now. That one is pointed to him. Say. Shea's got it on his stick, trying to clear. He cleared that puck out of there. St. Louis will play it from their own end on this power play. So back to center ice they come on that offside. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. But he tripped up the attacking player. 
so now with the penalty box a uh, little occupied, this is going to be four on four. It doesn't even take much of a mistake, Doc, to get a scoring chance on a four on four. If one guy gets beat by a half a stride, it's game on. He scores just before the period ends. Well, they were pretty excited on the bench. They've scored this last minute goal. Now they have all kinds of momentum to carry them through the intermission. And so they can start the next period on the front foot. And so we've completed one period of play. Both teams caused the goaltenders to buckle only one time. So the goalies almost won that period. It's 1-1 after one. Hey, hockey fans, follow the team all season long on the radio for every minute of Bailey's goal has tied this game. Intermission is coming up. At home or on your smartphone. Period two has begun. Both teams with the same number of goals. Propelled to Kucherov. He's got it. Nudged along by the skate. And it's pitched up the wing to Galchenyuk. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Back in his defensive end to get it. Stealth controlling play in the neutral zone. Fires, outstanding save. Puck dropped, and the winger stepped in to help. That's big. Carries it on in from center. Puck ricocheted off the screen. Smart recovery by Petrie. Through center. Gives it to the point. Shoots. Good save there. Jostled off the puck. And in flight over the line. Stealth skating it back in their own zone. Takes that pass. From the slot of Rister. At least he protected his goaltender. And he holds on and stops playing. Hope he's stretched out as far as he can go. He just got a chunk of that shot. Peon. Stole that pass at a critical end of the ice. Cleared back out again, and so the power play unit has to drop back. Gathered up again by Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Passing one off now to Lindholm. Trying to go to Nugent Hopkins. Oh, what a hit that one was! I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Pass attempt to Huberdo. A neutral zone carry. And he steps in. With a shot. They can't find the target. Well, that's a good scoring chance. He's trying to be too fine, trying to pick the corner. Sometimes you've just got to shoot it at the middle of the net. Great defensive poke. I'm generally a guy that's entertained by lots of goals and low scoring games kind of bore me, but this has been pretty good. There's been chances, the goaltenders have been good, and it's been very physical. Standing offense met by solid goaltending. 
You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie said no chance. That's an excellent save. We are in the 60th minute out of 60. Pitching it to Lindholm. He's got that point pass. Goalie pulled, net empty, extra man is out. He's got that pass in the corner. Pass. Terrific. Score! Not much time left, but this one is tied. Pulling the goalie would give them a little bit extra chance here as they try to score. They are able to punch through with a goalie sitting on the bench. Kucherov's gotten this game tied up at its most dramatic moment. The waning moments of the third. Puck dropped in the log jam and the winger reached in and got it. This is a tough one to work with. Nice stand up poke check there. Games the zone. Strong wrist shot. Oh, stick save. Oh, that's a good keep. That's a great keep at the line. Moves to the corner. Looking to Kucherov. Up to the point. Shot on. Wonderful save. When you're screen like that, you just have to hope it hits you. This contest will need extra time. Sean, one, you definitely do on the other because we're underway in OT. Can start the attack going in the zone. Score! 